Magandang araw mga kasiknayan. Welcome to Sir Opnik's YouTube channel. In this video, we will solve problems involving equations of circles. Let us first recall the two forms of equations of a circle. The first one is in standard form, wherein it is given by quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared is equal to r squared, while the other one is in general form, which is represented by x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. Let us have our first problem. What is the standard form of the equation of a circle whose center is at 3, 4 and passes through 0.3, negative 2? We all know that the standard form is given by x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. For us to identify the equation using this form, we must have the values of h, k, and r. Since the center is at h, k, and r is the radius. Now, based on the problem, the center is at 3 and 4. But, we don't have the value of r, which is the radius of the circle. So, we need first to identify the length of r using the two given points. So, with the use of the concept of the distance formula, square root of quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. The distance from the center of the circle to point 3 negative 2 represents the length of the radius of the circle given. So using the distance formula, if the center is our point 1, that, that means that our x sub 1 is equal to 3 and y sub 1 is equal to 4, while x sub 2 is equal to 3 and y sub 2 is equal to negative 2. Substituting the given numbers to the distance formula, that is equal to d equals the square root of 3 minus 3 squared plus negative 2 minus 4 squared. Simplifying the operations inside the parentheses, that is equal to square root of 0 squared plus negative 6 squared, which is equal to square root of 36 or simply positive 6. That means that the length of the radius is equal to positive 6. Since we now have the value of h, k, and r, we may now identify the standard form of the equation of the circle, which is given by x minus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared is equal to 6 squared. Or simply, quantity x minus 3 squared plus quantity y minus 4 squared is equal to 36. For our second problem, a circle is tangent to the y-axis at 0, 7, and its center lies on the line x equals 4. Find its general form. Let us first identify the center of the circle, which is represented by h and k. The center of the circle given is at 4, 7. Since the center lies on the line x equals 4, and the circle is tangent to the y-axis, that means that the coordinates of the center of the circle is at 4, positive 7. 4 is the x-coordinate and 7 is the y-coordinate from the tangent of the y-axis. Let us now try to solve for the value of r which is the radius. Using the concept of the distance formula,
Using the coordinates of the y-axis, x sub 1 is equal to 0 and y sub 1 is equal to 7. And using the coordinates of the center, which is at 4, 7, x sub 2 will be equal to 4 and y sub 2 is equal to 7. By proper substitution on the distance formula, we will arrive at the square root of quantity 4 minus 0 squared plus quantity 7 minus 7 squared. Simplifying the operations inside the parentheses, that is equal to the square root of 4 squared plus 0 squared, or simply square root of 16, which is equal to positive 4. That means that the length of the radius of the circle is equal to positive 4. Since we now have the values for h, k, and r, let us write first the equation in standard form. We will then have x minus 4 squared plus quantity y minus 7 squared is equal to 4 squared, which is equal to quantity x minus 4 squared plus quantity y minus 7 squared is equal to 16. This is now the standard form of the equation of the circle. Now, since we are asked on to identify the general form of the equation, let us try to rewrite this or convert this equation in terms of general form. From the standard form, quantity x minus 4 squared plus quantity y minus 7 squared is equal to 16, expand the two squares, that is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus y squared minus 14y plus 49 is equal to 16. Rearranging all the terms at the left side of the equation, that will lead us to x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 14y plus 16 plus 49 minus 16 is equal to 0. Which will lead us to the general form of the equation x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 14y plus 49 is equal to 0. Find the standard form of the equation of a circle if the endpoints of the diameter are negative 6, 2 and negative 2, 4. For us to be able to identify the standard form of the equation of the circle, we must know the values of h and k and the length of our radius. In this case, the center and the radius is unknown. So using the midpoint theorem, let us solve for the coordinates of the center. For the x-coordinate, for the midpoint of the x-coordinate, that is equal to negative 6 plus negative 2 divided by 2, which is equal to negative 8 divided by 2 or simply negative 4. For the midpoint of the y-coordinates, that is equal to 2 plus 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 6 over 2 or simply positive 3. Therefore, the coordinates of the center is equal to negative 4 and 3. Using the coordinates of the center negative 4 and 3 and any point of the two endpoints of the diameter of the circle, let us solve for the value of r, which is the length of the radius. So x sub 1 is equal to negative 4, y sub 1 is equal to 3, x sub 2 equals negative 6, y sub 2 is equal to 2. Using the distance formula, by proper substitution, that is equal to the square root of negative 6 minus negative 4 squared plus 2 minus 3 squared, which is equal to negative 2 squared plus negative 1 squared, or simply D is equal to square root of 5. That means that the length of the radius is equal to positive 5.
Since we now have the values of H, K, and R, we may now identify the standard form of the equation of the circuit. And that is equal to quantity x plus 4 squared plus quantity y minus 3 squared is equal to the square root of 5 squared by proper substitution. Simplifying the equation at the left or at the right, that is equal to quantity x plus 4 squared plus quantity y minus 3 squared is equal to 5. This is now the standard form of the equation. Let us now check your knowledge by answering this activity. Do not forget to pause this video while you are answering this activity. A circle is tangent to the y-axis at 0, negative 4, and its center lies on the line x is equal to 3. Find its standard form. So we need to identify the values of h, k, and r first to identify the equation of the circle. Since the center lies on the line x equals 3, and it is tangent to the y-axis at 0, negative 4, we may conclude that the coordinates of the center is at 3 and negative 4, while the radius is unknown. We can solve for the value of r using the distance formula. Using the coordinates of the center, x sub 1 will be equal to 3, y sub 1 will be equal to negative 4. And our x sub 2 will be equal to 0 and y sub 2 is equal to negative 4. By proper substitution, that is equal to d equals square root of 0 minus 3 squared plus quantity negative 4 minus negative 4 squared, which is equal to d equals square root of negative 3 squared plus 0 squared or simply square root of 9, which is equal to d equals to 3. That means that the value of r or the length of the radius is equal to 3. Since we now have the values of h, k, and r, we may now identify the standard form of the equation. So by proper substitution in the standard form, that is equal to quantity x minus 3 squared plus quantity y plus 4 squared is equal to 3 squared. Simplifying the right side of the, the equation, we will arrive at the standard form, quantity x minus 3 squared plus quantity y plus 4 squared is equal to 9. Find the general form of the equation of a circle if the endpoints of the diameter are 10, 12, and negative 4, negative 8. So for us to identify the equation of the circle, we must have the values of h, k, and r. But we don't have the coordinates of the center and the length of the radius. So using the midpoint theorem, let us try to identify the coordinates of the center. To get the midpoint of the x-coordinates of the endpoints of the diameter, that is equal to 10 plus negative 4 all over 2, which is equal to 6 over 2 or simply 3. For the midpoint of the y-coordinates of the endpoints of the diameter, that will be 12 plus negative 8 all over 2, or simply 4 over 2, which is equal to positive 2. We therefore conclude that the coordinates of the center is at 3, 2. Using the coordinates of the center, we may have x sub 1 is equal to 3, and y sub 1 is equal to 2. 
Now, we can use any of the two points, two endpoints of the diameter. So, we have x sub 2 equals to 10 and y sub 2 equals 12 if we're going to use the endpoints 10, 12. By proper substitution, using the distance formula, that is equal to the square root of 10 minus 3 squared plus the quantity 12 minus 2 squared. Simplifying the operations inside the parentheses, that is equal to the square root of 7 squared plus 10 squared, or simply square root of 149. That means that the value of R is equal to the square root of 149. Since we now have the values of H, K, and R, we must first rewrite the equation in standard form before rewriting the equation in general form. So using the values of h, k, and r, by proper substitution, that will be quantity x minus 3 squared plus quantity y plus 2 squared is equal to the square root of 149 squared. Simplifying the right side of the equation, we will arrive at the standard form quantity x minus 3 squared plus quantity y minus 2 squared is equal to 149. With the use of the standard form, let us convert this one into general form. By expanding the two squares on the left side of the equation, that will be x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 149. Rearranging all the terms on the, at the left side of the equation, we will arrive at x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 4y plus 9 plus 4 minus 149 is equal to 0. Combining all constant terms, that will lead us to the general form of the equation x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 4y minus 136 is equal to 0. Thank you for watching Sir Optics YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, Hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math.